Summer has turned into autumn here at Kew Gardens and a new season has just been launched, the intoxication season, where visitors can come and learn about all sorts of intoxicating plants. From cannabis to cocaine, these opium poppies to tea and coffee, lots of intoxicating plants are on display here and we've come to try some of them out. We've got a range of plants here, we're actually just uh, standing beside some poppies. Um, associated with heroin, but of course they are an important source of morphine and codeine. Um, and then we've got uh, cannabis, we've got coffee, as well as some of the mushrooms. So it is a range of plants that are used culturally to get a high, but also as some of the illegal drugs. One of the things I really do find fascinating when you go back in time and you look at the, how the shaman used the plants, there weren't often one plant, it was two or three, and it's that combination of chemistry that often gave them a high in which they would then, you know, um, have, have um, inspiration for some of their thoughts. I'm just really fascinated in understanding that chemistry. And any visitors wanting to sample that chemistry for themselves can make their way over to the secluded glass house where Bombus and Parr have set up the Plant Connoisseurs Club. Right, so we're inviting everyone to come down and try a smorgasbord of legal highs. So things like uh, stimulants, intoxicants, um, and even psychoactive drugs um, that uh, you can try here at the Plant Connoisseurs Club. Are these safe? The tricky bit, which we spent a good year doing at Bombson Park, is working with our own toxicologist, working with the NHS's toxicologist, to ensure that the dosing is such that people get an effect, they learn something, um, but also they're able to walk away and it's totally, totally safe. So what do we have here in front of us? These are, these are sort of raw, unprocessed uh, betel nuts. When people come along, we've got some uh, processed ones here. Um, and and these, are, these are delicately scented with rose as well. Would you like to try some? I'm a bit afraid, but yes, okay. So it's, it's, it's very gentle, this. But um, if you give me your hand, um, I'll give you something like that. And then you sort of chew it gently in your mouth. Don't crush it up. Um, and that'll start, that'll start releasing all the active ingredients in it, which after about 20 minutes starts giving you the sorts of feelings that you get, um, maybe, maybe from a, a, a really good nicotine high. The other thing that's really exciting for me is if you look at all different cultures around the world and societies, they all have this sort of universal need for um, you know, sort of social rituals around, around stimulants and intoxicants. And all we're really doing with this is introducing... Uh, folks who come down to Kew Gardens to a few other different ones that are used um, very commonly in other societies. 20 minutes later, I did feel a bit of a buzz, but no ill effects. The intoxication season at Kew Gardens is running through the autumn until the 12th of October. But don't worry, all of the illegal plants are kept safely under lock and key. Jennifer Bartram, The Weather Network.